last year. The recipe came from the family's Hanukkah uh, celebration. It was uh, brisket and potato latkes, pancakes. Um, this year, actually, I guess in a certain way, uh, what, I'm, what I've chosen is uh, it's, it's things that we eat. Uh, it doesn't come from my family of origin, which was German, and this is very Eastern European, what, we, what, what, what I chose, or with we is because it was with the help of my wife. Um, but uh, hopefully it will nevertheless be tasty. Um, if we had been Russian peasants in the 19th century, uh, among the things that we probably would have eaten as staples would have been uh, buckwheat in various forms and cabbage. And so uh, I've chosen uh, two recipes. Uh, one is a recipe, one of many recipes for kasha varnishkas, uh, and that is uh, noodles uh, together with buckwheat and some flavoring like onions um, and broth uh, to, to, to give it a little bit more flavor than it would if it were just the noodles and the, and the buckwheat. Um, these uh, were easily grown uh, uh, and uh, available, in, as I said, in Russia. And of course, you know, we know that noodles are uh, in one form or another are kind of ubiquitous uh, and, um, and, and varnish is in fact I think comes from a Polish word that I don't remember exactly uh, but it, it relates to a kind of uh, well in Yiddish would be kreplach but it's, it's, it's they can be stuffed um, noodles uh, but in the case of the kasha varnish is there these days at least in America usually kind of bow tie noodles and that's what I'm going to suggest uh, be used in the, in, in the recipe. The other thing that um, I've chosen is uh, stuffed cabbage. Now, if we were having a regular meal, we might have the, uh, the noodles and the buckwheat and uh, a cabbage soup. But if this was a fancy uh, holiday dinner, for example, we might make stuffed cabbage and we would put uh, different things in it depending upon what we could afford. And that was one of the good things, I guess, about making stuffed cabbage because people at different socioeconomic levels could still make the recipe. So you could uh, stuff it with um, just uh, w with some kind of grain or you could add vegetables, or uh, if you had a little bit of money, or it was a nice a special celebration, you could add some meat. And uh, in the recipes that I'm gonna provide, uh, I'm gonna suggest a kind of a uh, sweet and sour sauce uh, that could go with it. I'm not so sure that the Russian peasant Jews uh, made sweet and sour sauce with their uh, cabbage, but we're in America, and that's the kind of thing that people like, so that's what we're gonna uh, I'm going to suggest. Uh, for a vegetable, um, I think, uh, well, it, it we'll do something with string beans, uh, something relatively simple, uh, have s sort of pity on the chefs, uh, and maybe we'll add some dill or have them add some almond chips or uh, a little bit of both. But uh, so anybody that wants could really make a full meal out of it because you'd have your uh, protein and your vegetables uh, and some delicious uh, sauce and um, that's what I'm gonna be suggesting and hope that people will enjoy it.